Hi beautiful people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So I thought for today's video I would do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to do kind of a behind the scenes look at my YouTube channel, uh, showing you what goes into making my videos and you know editing social media things etc. So hopefully you find this type of video interesting to watch. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to start by showing you what I use to film. Obviously I'm filming on a different device today so I can show you. This is my iPhone SE 2020. Um, prior to this, I was using an iPhone 6S, I believe, um, so nothing particularly fancy, and I just put a new lock screen on this, you can see. Alright, so this is normally how I have my phone just sitting right here on my dresser, and you can see you don't need any kind of fancy tripod because I literally use a broken chip clip to uh, prop my phone up, because I find this is like the perfect height, like an actual tripod would be too high, I think, so like you can see you can see me in the phone there um so i have it here and normally i like to rely on these windows here for some natural light but um on days that that's not really possible i use this lamp which is kind of tilted back to not give any weird shadows or anything so yeah nothing fancy here obviously using a broken hair clip as my tripod there and when i'm filming i like to have some uh, pillows in the background for decoration and you can see i just added a McCartney 3 poster up there, the one that came with the uh, Japanese Deluxe Edition. And back there, of course, is my calendar and my other Beatles pillow with my A Hard Day's Night blanket. So typically you'd see like this area. All right, so next I'll show you the process for editing my videos. Um, this isn't going to be a tutorial or anything, but I'll just show you a couple things. Um, I use this app, iMovie. So I have my little intro. I made this in a separate app, which I'll show later. It's the same app I use to make my thumbnails. But um, this little sound effect is called Guitar Chord Major, and that's over here. In the audio section, you click Sound Effects, and it's down here. So I drop that into the intro part, um, and this is a separate video clip that I always join together, but this is last week's video, just as an example. And I always keep the volume for this, like, around 60%, because if it's at 100%, it can be, like, really jarring, so I turn it down a little bit. And then, you can see in this particular video, I drop some pictures in and stuff. You go to the moments section, you can pick a picture from here, and then you have an option to put it on the screen, or cut away to it, or do a split screen as well. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye. So then I always save that to my iPad. I normally save it in either 720 or uh, 1080 resolution. So I'll show you next how I make my thumbnails. I use this app. It's called Adobe Spark Post. And I'll just go into last week's thumbnail. So you can see for last week's thumbnail, this is actually a, a GIF or a GIF, however you say it. And then this is from a picture I found for, on Google Images. And they have a feature on here where you can remove the background. So I did that and kind of put them in the corner there. So I'll show you um, actually how I take my thumbnail images. So here's me trying to get the thumbnail for this week's video. <laughs> um, you can see it's just a lot of me like taking a video and posing and then I screenshot the video so it's the right size automatically as opposed to me having to stretch the image to fit the thumbnail size. Alright, so I found a screenshot from the video that I was just, you know, doing for this thumbnail and I decided to use this one. So normally what I do, first of all, is change the border around this. So I use this little eyedropper tool and I'll make it green like the apple on my shirt there. So then next I'll add text. So then I just go to add and add text and then I'll type probably behind the scenes. And then I always like to go into the shape section and make it an oval like this. And then I usually put the same uh, font every time, which is this one. So I'll play around with those colors a little bit. I don't know why the border went back to red. I just noticed that. <laughs> and then usually if I want to add like a, a GIF or something, or GIF, I still don't know the right way to say that. I'll go into here, add sticker, and I would just search for whatever I wanted. So let's say I wanted like a little YouTube logo or something. You could just type in YouTube and you get all these options here. I'll just pick this one. And then I would shrink it a little and just place it wherever I wanted. Obviously I tweak around with this a lot, um, but this is just an example of something that I would do. So then when I'm done with the thumbnail, I'll just uh, save it as a still image up here. 
and then I just usually use the YouTube Studio app to add this or I'll email it to myself and upload it on my actual laptop. But next I wanted to show you my Instagram. All right, so here's my Instagram. Um, I'm a beautiful life on there if you don't follow me. But you can see I do really like bright photos similar to my thumbnails. And typically I like to do what I think are called flat lay photos with kind of everything in a square like this. And sometimes I spend way too much time trying to get like the perfect photo, like everything so meticulously <laughs> lined up. Like sometimes I'll spend way too long trying to do that. But um, obviously I make it something related to the video. Like this was for the McCartney 3 uh, Japanese unboxing. So I have my little dice there from Capitol Records and the CD itself and the poster that came with it. So I just try to fit everything nicely into a square. Um, here's some good examples down here some CDs, my 60s merchandise. This was for my video from my top five favorite scenes from the first US Visit documentary. Here's just some examples, but I like to keep things very bright and colorful. And in my caption, I'll just say new video, take saying what the video is. And then I do have a custom YouTube URL to youtube.com slash a beautiful life. But I also keep my link to my YouTube channel in my Instagram bio as well. And then I like, obviously like to use hashtags. And then I have some highlights up here on my Instagram. Um, have shopping, which is like merchandise that I saw in stores. Beatles merchandise. This was a cute bear for Valentine's Day. Some shirts and stuff and online shopping. I have McCartney 3 highlight. Um, merchandise that I purchased. Hey Grand Dude. Ringo's album, What's My Name? Egypt Station. Paul's freshen up tour when that was going on and my visit to the uh, Beatles pop-up shop in New York City and then usually when I have a new video I will put the thumbnail on my Instagram story as well and just pick some uh, gifts um, to put on here new video link in bio oh there's my <laughs> Instagram story for Valentine's Day and then I also have my Facebook page beautiful life um, which I of course also uh, promote my new videos on and then I just wanted to come back in the iMovie app for a second and show you this is where I use my uh, soundtracks for some of my like vlogs and stuff where I get that music from. So you, usually I stick to these kind of basic ones down here. This is probably the one I use most often for my uh, kind of shopping vlogs. You probably recognize this one. It's just called Simple. But sometimes if I'm doing something longer like a coloring video, I'll go into these up here. I like this one a lot. It's called Pink Deville. But yeah, I get all my music from here. You could go to like an external website or something, but I find that this um, takes care of my needs as far as music goes. So lastly, let's just take a look at my channel itself. I just wanted to show you um, that I have my videos kind of sorted into some playlists here. So this one is like my Beatles quizzes online and uh, the things that I do for holidays like dyeing Easter eggs, carving a pumpkin, etc. This one is for my Beatles top threes like in last week's video or things like my favorites in different categories. This is my reviews and unboxings of different things. This is one for my vinyl records, although I haven't added to this in quite some time because um, I don't do many vinyl videos on my channel. Um, but I do have some in here from when I did my uh, vinyl collection. Then I have books and magazines. There's a lot of videos in here. Uh, stories and chit chat videos. Then my merchandise show and tell videos, which is probably the uh, category that I have the most of. And then vlogs and shopping videos in this playlist here. But you can see my thumbnails. I like to keep them colorful, just like my Instagram pictures. All right, so I, lastly, I just wanted to show you what I decided to do with the thumbnail. So I found this behind the scenes um, kind of sticker in that sticker section down here. And then I found uh, John and Paul cartoons that I put in there. And then I just changed the text here to how I make my videos. And then I made the border around it green to match my shirt. All right, Beetle people. So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing something a little bit different this week, this kind of behind the scenes look at my videos. Um, but I want to say thank you very much for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Beatles videos. And I will leave the links to my blog and social media down in the description. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.